Hey y'all, it's Base Ed Dipper here, dipping some Copenhagen Long Coat Wintergreen. Come and show you what I got in the mail, but before I do, I do want to let y'all know that I did buy this item off of eBay, and I know a lot of people say eBay sucks and whatnot. It's not eBay's fault. It's the dumbass sellers who try to scam people and whatnot. So yeah, but um, anyways, I picked me up a, or I bought me a fourth generation iPod Touch. Now you're probably thinking, so why'd you buy the fourth generation iPod Touch when the fifth generation is already out? Well, here's the thing. Um, I didn't have the money laying around to buy a fifth gen iPod Touch, so yeah, I went ahead and bought the fourth generation. Now I paid like 50 something dollars for the shoes, so I can't really complain. It's $50 with free shipping and a two-day shipping with priority or priority two-day shipping so yeah and it was coming from uh georgia which is surprising that it got here so fast but um anyways everything works on it except for the iMessage which isn't a big deal for me i don't know if you see this but wherever you go to send a message i don't know let's see it's not lit up blue for um iMessage so yeah that kind of sucks but like I said, it's not a big issue for me because I do have my cell phone that I um, talk to people on. And then I got a Kick Messenger and Meet Me as well as my YouTube app. Now, I will get a um, video test of this iPod to see how it compares against my cell phone. Um, my cell phone shoots in 720, so yeah. But um, overall, I'm loving this iPod. I really am. Um, a lot of people say the 4th Gen iPod sucks. But, not to me. I completely love it, and I completely disagree with their comment. But, that's my personal opinion. I have my opinion, they have theirs, and so be it. But, for $50 for a working iPod, a fully functioning iPod, in great condition, you can't, you can't really pass it up. I mean, the only problem with it, other than the iMessage, it has, like, scratching on the back. But, I mean, that's a... Uh, pretty much going to happen even if you buy a um, new iPod because, well, you're going to have it in your pocket and whatnot, and it's going to scratch it up, so yeah. But um, I got this case separately. I bought this from another um, eBay user, and it's a really nice case. It looks like Griffin, but it's not. Um, it's one of those cheap uh, Griffin knockoff cases, but for an iPod that I'm probably going to use when I'm at home, it's not a big issue. I mean, yeah, I'll take my iPod with me to listen to music, like, say, if we go on a long trip or something. Or if we're just riding around town because I did put a little sound system on my mom's uh, 2001 Dodge Durango and whatnot. So, yeah, it'll be pretty fun. I'm just uh, really excited that the iPod came in. So, go ahead and tell me what you think of the price I paid, guys. This is Bayshead Dipper signing out.